This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom 100,000 blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm dressed as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Farlands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys, Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. We are right where we left off, at 10,000 blocks, which is 10% of the way through our journey, and it is time to continue walking. I, we've got two days to walk ahead of us, and I have some more questions for uh, that you guys have given me. We're not walking the right way, we need to walk this way through this pretty water and this gorgeous sunrise, Must I must say. Um, sunrise is in the east, and west. Okay, good, because we're heading east. We can always just follow the sun this way to uh, get where we need to go. Just realize that if we uh, ever lose our compass or anything shall happen to that. So, um, yeah, I was just making sure the sun wasn't setting. Anyways, continuing on, there are some... Those aren't saplings, those are just shrubs, but they're animated and gorgeous. So anyways, you guys have submitted your questions. Thank you so much for that. It's, um... Yeah, I used to ask for questions in the Terraria series because I just do mundane tasks occasionally for Terraria and answer your questions, but now that I'm not really doing too many mundane tasks and we're getting near the end of Terraria, but it's not going to stop. It's never going to stop. That's what built my channel. I'm never going to stop Terraria. Um, but since we're getting towards to, to the end of our 1.2 Let's Play, we're about almost done with Terraria. I'll still pl keep playing it after that, of course, but... Um, in that world and such, but we're almost done with the game itself. Um, but I used to do questions in that, and since I stopped doing too many mundane things, I didn't really ever have a time to actually answer those questions. Um, so now that you guys are providing questions here, I can answer all the questions you want. Uh, which is great, and I'm really enjoying it, and I notice that these ores are messed up. That's interesting. Didn't think about that when I was editing this resource pack. Oh well. Yeah, I could have made that. I can totally make that. Whee! Alright, where's our boat? Do we need a boat? I think we need a boat. Let's get a boat real quick. Oh. Uh, Herobrine confirmed. Hashtag 2K15. Hashtag Herobrine confirmed 2K15. Mess up there. So anyways, we've got quite a few questions uh, this time. Uh, Commander Warcraft, you outdid yourself. You provided eight questions, like I asked. Last time you pr provided seven, and I believe the previous time you provided eight. So you are you are up to snuff. You are taking this challenge in stride. So we'll just start off with uh, Commander Warcraft's uh, with Warcraft's questions. And uh, number one, what tips would you give to the aspiring YouTubers out there? Hmm. I dang it. I want to say be yourself, but then I realize how boring and mundane and cliche that is, so I'm not going to say be yourself, but do be yourself. Um, play what you enjoy. Play games that you have fun in. Like, M Minecraft for me, I don't really enjoy it that much anymore. Um, I'm playing this because I'm pl doing the 100,000 block journey. I'm dedicated to it because it's something that relates to my channel, and Hobbitcraft isn't Hobbitcraft. Um, just because it sounds cool, I have to give it a reason for Hobbit. So I'm I'm doing the 100,000 block journey and completing that so that I have something on my channel to make it worthy of the name Hobbitcraft. But Minecraft is a game I don't really enjoy that much anymore, so that's why I stopped. So it's like um, the 100,000 block journey. That's why I didn't do a regular Let's Play after Pixelcraft closed down. That's why I didn't search for another SMP after Pixelcraft closed down. Pixelcraft was one of the last things keeping me to Minecraft. Um, so, yeah. I'm not trying to be, sound angry at anybody, but that was one of the last things really keeping me involved with Minecraft. And so now that that's pretty much officially done, I think I'm pretty much almost done with Minecraft on my channel. So, play games that you enjoy. Um, or if you're doing gaming, pl play games that you enjoy. Don't do things just because they're popular. Um, I sort of did that with Minecraft earlier. I 
it's been a long downward slope of my enjoyment with Minecraft. I played... It was fun in 6th grade. Everybody enjoyed it in 6th grade. Everybody played it when they were in 6th grade. But as you get older, it becomes... You either become more enthusiastic about it or just drop off the map entirely and forget about it and just move on. Find something else. Uh, most people go to uh, Born Mundane Shooters that are the same game with Pretty Graphics and Kevin Spacey. Or, not Pretty Graphics. Different Graphics and Kevin Spacey. I don't plan on going to that. I plan on just finding other games that can challenge my creativity because I don't really feel challenged that much anymore. And, yeah, I play... I really only play with my... Fr uh, so, I really only play Minecraft anymore because it's been a s part of the channel. It hasn't been a staple of this channel. Terraria has. It's been part of the channel, and I'm trying to end that part of the channel so that I can do different things, and that's why the 100,000 block journey is going to be the last thing I do in Minecraft. Um, but that's become part of the channel, and I forgot the point I was on earlier. I know I was talking about doing things you enjoy, but I forgot the other part I was thinking of. Oh, well. oh yeah. Really, I only play it casually by my. I casually, I really only play it with friends and my sisters. Um, I don't ever play survival or SMP casually anymore, like I did when I was in sixth and seventh grade. Um, I really only play when I'm recording or with friends. So, yeah, uh, do things that you enjoy for your channel. M don't worry about like what what the audience. Well, I'm not trying to say don't worry about what the audience enjoys, because that just makes me sound like, just mean. Like, I'm going to make 24 Juggalo fan videos a day because I enjoy it, even though you guys don't. So, ha, 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 bring in the likes. Um, but do things that your audience will like, but make sure that's something you, you will enjoy. Make sure that you're not just doing it for the views. Like... When I was younger, I was worried a bit for the views slightly, and that's why I had that um, 26-minute rant um, video a long time ago about viewer declination and audience engagement and retention. But I realized that it's not about the views; it's about what I enjoy. And it's I, I saw um, a story the other day. I, I it, it's more like a parable. It wasn't a real story, but it taught a lesson. It was on Reddit. I believe, and it was talking about how there's a little boy who, this is probably sounding really philosophical more than it needs to be, but it, I really don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to continue with the story because it's a sweet story. There's a little boy who was feeding a dog on the streets that had no home and it was injured, and a stranger came up to him and said, why are you caring for that dog? It's not going to help all the starving dogs in the world. Um, and the little boy says, but it means the world to this dog. Something like that. I really don't know where I'm going with this. But, so, s s your audience enjoys... The, when you get views, the audience most likely enjoys that. If it's a low amount of views, the audience still probably really enjoys that video. I know there were people that really enjoyed uh, building a Minecraft map. Even though that didn't get very many views, people said it was their favorite series, so they're like the little boy, or they're like the dog. That series means the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, do things you enjoy. Moving on. Next question. <laughs> Is there going to be an April Fool special? <laughs> hey, it's amazing. <laughs> I need a second here. Okay. All the stuff about the little boy and the dog. It just kind of... I don't know where I was going with <sighs> Oh, I'm enjoying this, so I'm doing what I enjoy. Anyways, is there going to be an April Fool's special? I don't know. There was one April Fool's special. I don't know if anybody picked up on it. Um, my my Minecraft Let's Play after it was either Pixelcraft or Oblivion SMP. Let me go and, slash closed down. Oblivion let me go. Pixelcraft closed down. After that, I started my own single player world. Not a very good Let's Play, but one day. <laughs> One day a save, my save got corrupted, I lost all my items. So I made a video on April's 1st, ma indicating that it was the end of the Let's Play, that everything was gone, and I was setting it up to be an April Fool's video, and I was planning to just resume the series the next week, but then I realized, yeah, all this stuff is actually gone, I can't get it back, and I don't really feel like continuing this Let's Play. And so I just killed the series. P I, get I think people thought it was supposed to be an April Fool's joke, and just died.
It's great. Um, so I might do an April Fool's thing, but now that I say that, you guys are going to be expecting anything on April Fool's. I'm going to do it on April 2nd. Now you'll expect it on April 1st. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, don't know if there's going to be any April Fool's special. People don't really do April Fool's specials. They do Christmas specials, channel celebrations, darn you squid, channel milestones, and, uh, like, Halloween specials occasionally sometimes, um, but no real April Fool specials, so don't know about that. Uh, next question, do you record on a database basis or all at once? Um, I'm a massive procrastinator. I said that with the new, with the reclaiming of Trex Place, I was going to record the series throughout the week and then edit it Saturday so that it'll be better. I haven't done that at all. I've recorded it all Saturday and then edited it. Um, down, but it's better having it only once a week or so. So yes, I do record a video daily. I don't do it all at once. That's why I'm able to answer questions that you guys leave on these videos is because I'm not doing it on a um, all at once. I'm I don't have time to do it all at once because um, I want to do other things. So yes, I do record videos on a day to day basis if I'm doing a video that day. Uh, let's make a bed here so we can go to sleep because we should probably do that. Um, I don't think we should be carrying around all this gold, because it really doesn't serve a purpose to us. Um, but we'll... Oh, forgot to put a torch up. So yeah, uh, day-to-day -day basis. Number four, what is your favorite country slash... Uh, where's your, we're still on Commander Warcraft's questions. What's your favorite country slash state besides Texas? Um, I'm going to go with America on that one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I really like Oh, gosh. I really like Canada. Canada, to me, just seems like a giant theme park. Canada it seems like a great place to live. Like, um, uh, Fox Tribe MC, MC, when I used to talk to him and all those people, I asked him a question once. I, I read it on the internet that in some parts of Can Canada, Canadians will take, during the winter months, well, not during the winter months, it's Canada, it's winter months all the time. Whenever there's, it's snowing, They'll take maple syrup outside in the snow, pour it in the snow, wait for it to freeze, and then roll it up on sticks. And, of course, I read it on the internet. You can't trust what, everything the internet says. So I asked Fox Tron MC himself, who is a, who's a Canadian. And he said, oh yeah, we totally do that. So along those lines. And that just, that's just the best thing. Canada is pretty great. And they're like, don't they have rainbow-colored money that's waterproof and has a scratch-and-sniff maple leaf? I heard that. I don't know if it's true. I don't own Canadian money. Um, I really hope that's true. That'd be great. It's it's like a, living in a Six Flags. Um, so yeah, Canada. I also really like Chad. I don't know that much about Chad. I know that it has an, a, a beautiful national anthem. Seriously, go listen to the Chad national anthem on uh, Wikipedia. It's, it's um pretty good. I, I like it a lot. No, of course not as much as the American National Anthem. Patriots! Oh gosh, hit the mic. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, headphone users, myself included. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear that in the editing process later. Um, but yeah, Chad. I really like the name as well because, of course, it's the name is Chad. Because Chad, Chad. It's a great name, and people that name their country Chad are great. Um. So, Canada and Chad. Uh, number five. Recently, I found on IMDb that there will be a Portal movie this year. Source the J.J. Abrams page on IMDb. And do you think this is true? What are your thoughts? Yes, I do think that Portal 2, Portal um, movie will be true. Except it's not set for this year. I was looking at the IMDb page, and it's set for 2016. So, yeah. Um, if it has a date... Well, here's the thing about making movies. There's... A massive pool of screenplays, just tons and tons and tons of screenplays that are written by independent, independent authors or um, esteemed directors, or really anybody can write a screenplay. And there's a massive pool, and then a production company has to select one of those screenplays, and then that screenplay will be developed into multiple drafts. There, I read that there'll be some, it'll be revised like 14 to 15 times. A screenplay, a selected screenplay will, and that screenplay, um, it, it, that screenplay still isn't guaranteed to become a movie, um, 
So yeah, there's a bunch of screenplays. I think at this point, the Portal movie might be a screenplay that has been picked up by a production company. So I don't know if it's completely confirmed, but given the history behind the com- given the history behind Portal, given that there is a story for it essentially and characters and they really don't have to do too much in terms of, in terms of um, developing their own storyline for Portal. I do think it will be a movie, and I hope it will be very enjoyable. And I really hope that Half Life Three will come. Out. Anyways, uh, number six. Do you plan on ever making an Age of Empires two HD tricks plays? Yes, I do. I love Age of Empires two HD. It, it was my. Fa- I already said Age of Empires was like my favorite game as a kid, besides Pajama Sam and Wing Nut. So I do plan on making a tricks plays. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, because those matches can last for a long time. I don't know when I'll be able to find the time to. Um, so, but I do plan on doing that sometime in the future. It may have to wait till summer when I have more time. But yes, I do plan on making Age of Empires 2 Trex Plays. And I do plan on making it a really good Trex Plays. Numbers, which one are we on? Seven, number seven. What subscriber count do you hope to achieve by the end of the year? Um, I'm, I hope to achieve... Uh, 10,000 subscribers. I hope this doesn't make me sound like a tool, but I it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to hit 5,000 subscribers. Given the given the exponential growth of my channel, um, it took me 10 months, I think, to gain 1,000 subscribers. And then 3 months after that, 2,000. And 1 month after the 2,000 subscriber milestone, it was 3,000. And now we're like... Uh, I don't know, um, we're at 3,300, so we're on our way to 4,000, and it's, it's about to be April, so I think by June I'll have 5,000 subscribers, and that means that if the channel keeps growing like that, with 1,000 subscribers every month, uh, great, um, less than or equal to every month, then given the amount of time left in the year, if that same exponential growth continues, we should be at 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But YouTube is not exponential growth. Um, you won't always be getting the same amount of subscribers. Everyone confirmed. Uh, you won't always be getting the same amount of subscribers. You can't always rely on getting um, 1,000 subscribers a month, per se. You can get an exceeding amount, like 2,000 one month, but then you can only get 500 the next month. Like, I know that... Um, with the ad revenue, I'm not I'm not going to say the exact amount, but with the ad revenue I got from a uh, Zook Network, which is the multi-channel network I'm partnered with, I got a ton of uh, not a ton of money, um, enough money to buy a few AAA uh, game releases one month, and that was the my hiatus. Um, and I didn't really upload anything. I got enough money to buy one or two AAA games full price that month. But then the next month, where I where I came back from hiatus and I worked my tail off, and I tried to make a bunch of videos um, as good as I could. I only made enough money that month to buy maybe one AAA game. I'm I'm not gonna give away the exact values. I'm just using AAA games as an example. I didn't actually buy AAA games. No, Indy Indy for the win. But yeah, so YouTube is not reliable in terms of its growth. Um, so I don't know if I'll hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit 5,000, and it'd be nice if I could hit 10,000. Uh, number eight, will you do a comedy sketch for the next subscriber special? I don't know. Comedy spe- sketches with me have a um, checkered history because I've I don't know how many I've done. Only like two or three. But I did the five types of Minecraft YouTubers, which was one afternoon, I had an idea, and so I started writing, and by the end of the day, I had filmed that idea, and by the end of the next day, it was all edited and uploaded, and it's become, it was one of my most popular videos from the early stages of my channel. Um, and so, yeah, that afternoon project was great. It, it's got like 823 views last time I checked or something, it's probably around 1,000 now or so. Um, but then when I did the sequel, the five types of Minecraft YouTubers 2, I know, I'm sorry, I'm a sellout, I did a sequel for a successful thing, um, it, the, the trailer for the, the announcement trailer for it got more views than it, so, 
comedy specials do have a checkered history with me, so I don't know what I'm going to do. It's definitely not going to be Five Types of Minecraft YouTubers. I'm going to say right now I'm never returning to Five Types of Minecraft YouTubers. Um, I think that a third one would be just like... There's the first one, which is the brilliant original classic. There's the second one. I'm, I'm not trying to sound... Um, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm comparing it to movies. There's like the... the Five Types of Minecraft YouTubers was like the first movie in a series. Um, where it's brilliant, spectacular, new sort of thing. And it's, it's great. It's a huge hit. The second one is trying to ride on the fame, but it's still got... If it's a good, if it's a good sequel, it's trying to ride on the fame of that first one, and it's got a decent story, but then the third one is just awful, and it's just thrown together as quickly as possible. Hey, horsey, I have a saddle now, but you'll be difficult taking across water, so no thanks. Um, I, yeah, third sequel, cat grab money, no more five times Minecraft YouTubers, so I might do another one. I know I did one sketch on my old channel. That was five ways to kill noobs with redstone, I believe, that um Queso Beso and I did. Hey, we found a village. That's cool. Um I did that. I might re upload that sometime to this channel, but I don't know if I'll do a Hey Blacksmith. I don't know if I'll do another comedy sketch. I I'll do another comedy sketch. I just don't know what game it will be in nor what it will be about. Ooh, let's upgrade our uh just wait, we have some obsidian, but I'm going to ignore that. Um Upgrade this. Sweet for some better armor. Let's put this way in here, whatever we can. Uh, we can put away this wool because we have enough white wool. Cobblestone and stuff, just empty our inventory. We threw away the gold already. We we don't need these apples, actually. K Trouble light. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll do another comedy sketch. Um, so, thanks for your questions, Warcraft. Here's my challenge. Nine questions. I don't. I'm. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do nine questions. Um, if you still have questions about Warcraft, they're very helpful and very good questions. So, I do appreciate them very much. Let's go sleep in that library. Ah, never mind. Um, so thanks for your questions. Sorry I couldn't get to the rest of y'all's questions today, guys. Um, uh, Nick of Time has some questions. Oh boy, eleven! You have a question for me that I answered in the comments, but I'm going to answer right now. He asked me what mods am I using? I'm using Optifine and Shaders. So there we go, Nick of Time. I will get to you next episode in the next few days. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. Thank you all so much for your questions. If you have a question, write it down in the comments below. I'll get around to answering it in the next episode or the episode after that. In the case of Nick of Time. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.